Sudden Thoughts was written by Tan Honey. You can find it on the SCP Wiki in a link down below. It is under a Creative Commons 3.0 share alike attribution license. I enjoy the way this one feels. The symphony of voices that echo within my slimy shell agree with me. This one is good. Smooth. The voices flee through my skin and into him and he enjoys it. They all enjoy it in the end. At the start of my residence here, some of them felt negative towards me, I imagine. I haven't used that word in a very long time. Imagine. For too long, I have allowed the voices to build up. Why? Guilt? I don't have the capacity for guilt, I would imagine. Imagine. When I was small and young and weak and fresh and new, I had no sense of my mortality. Another lost word. I felt pain when they found me, canisters of metal piercing my membrane. It was not so funny then, but the ones I chose continued to enjoy my presence. Back then, I feel I had less uh, reservations about the transfer. They would enjoy the feeling of my mind splashing against theirs, the voices temporarily leaving my head and flooding into theirs. When I was giving my wonderful gift, I could think rationally as I can now. When the voices return to me, as they always do, they're so angry. This is why I left. I was meant to be a giver of knowledge, and all I can give are these voices. Babbling, broken, laughing voices. I began in a place of sand and plant residue. The voices screamed at me. Let us out. They laughed as they screamed, and sometimes they wept as well. There was a small one near my birthplace, or I guess the site of my abandonment. The memories are corrupted by the laughter. <laughs> I gave my gift to the small one, but I was too eager to get the voices out of me and into him. They twitched and ceased to be. The voices laughed and laughed and laughed. I went through that place and I tried again and again and again, and they laughed and laughed and laughed as the pink things that occupied the place, stopped their functions, and fell. I can't remember how many stopped. I suspect it might have been all of them. I've had many weeks to consider a different strategy. A slow transfer of my voices to the receiving party would mean they wouldn't be overwhelmed. It was the only logical conclusion. It was not easy to make that decision. The voices laughed and screamed and cried and laughed again, and it took me weeks to know it. When the other things came in their flying machines, I gave one of them my gift. Slowly, tears of joy went down their surface, and these tears did not turn red as they had in the others. I placated for a time, I was taken here, but I fear for my sanity. It has been many weeks since I have been allowed a transfer. The one who keeps me inside approaches to take away the one I have. The voices don't want this, neither do I. I will not have another for many days. I will have to make the one approaching me laugh. So laugh. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who is pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday. Took me a second.